As high-tech industries throughout the world begin to look at their environmental footprint and develop strategies to become more sustainable, one engineering research center at the University of Arizona has been revolutionizing sustainable practices for almost two decades. The mission of the center was to develop new technologies um, by research and uh, um, joint work with industry, and that would make the high-tech industry sustainable. Specifically, we focused on semiconductor industry as a branch of high-tech. There were a number of issues that came up as the environmental bottlenecks for sustainability. One of the issues was availability of water. A typical manufacturing of semiconductor products, whether it is a processor or memory or similar devices, consists of many steps. Most of these steps are essentially depositing very thin films of different materials and then patterning them and shaping them into, into different uh, structures. It's like building a skyscraper in, in, a, in a nano scale, in a very small scale. Every time we deposit one of these layers or process these layers, we have to clean it. And every cleaning requires lots of water. During the cleaning, during the rinsing that follows the cleaning. Uh, just to give you an example, uh, up to very recently, one modern semiconductor fabrication uh, facility, we call it a fab, uh, could use as much water as a small town, as a city of uh, you know, 50, 60,000 people. One of the things that we noticed is that one reason for usage of so much water is that during the processing of a wafer, when we are making the chips, we really are not monitoring, we don't know exactly when the substrate, when the material that is being cleaned, is clean enough. And one of, the, one of the ways that industry has gone around this obstacle is to just use a lot of water to make sure that it is clean enough. So the development of this real-time sensor became a major part, activity of the center. So for the very first time, uh, like about three, four years ago or so, uh, at our center, we completed the development of a very unique, for the first time, a very unique real-time in-situ sensor. Now we can measure and monitor the cleanliness of the wafer that is being cleaned. And we now have industries that are using this, and the sensor uh, not only has been fully developed, uh, we have formed a company that is commercializing this thing. So this is a perfect success story of something that has started from university research, fundamental research, it has gone through full development, it has gone through commercialization, it has gone through working with industry for implementation. So the whole cycle of uh, from fundamental research to the actual usage is, is, is completed.